G'day guys, how are you going? Today we're going to be making hand sanitizer. So when we traveled to Tanzania recently, we got through a lot of hand sanitizer and I thought, I reckon I could make that at home. So it only requires two ingredients for the basic hand sanitizer I'm doing. So if you'd like to learn how to do this, then please stick around and I'll show you how. The two ingredients for this alcohol based hand sanitizer is rubbing alcohol, which is also known as isopropyl alcohol, and aloe vera gel. Then you'll also need a little bottle to put it in, and some equipment such as a disposable spoon and a funnel. I also used a skewer, as you'll see later on. Place the funnel into your bottle. The ratios required to make this alcohol based hand sanitizer are two thirds rubbing alcohol to one third aloe vera gel. So I'm putting in six spoons of rubbing alcohol and then three spoons of aloe vera gel. The instructions are in the description box below. So go check that out if you'd like. The website for Centers for Disease Control and Prevention states that studies have found that hand sanitizers with alcohol concentrations between 60 to 95 percent are more effective at killing germs than those with lower alcohol concentration or non-alcohol based hand sanitizers. Therefore, it's really important that your homemade hand sanitizer is at least 60% alcohol. The best way I found to get this aloe vera gel into the container was to just use a skewer and do a motion up and down and then bang it on the table and I eventually it got there. It didn't take that long at all, really. Under five minutes. Once it's all combined, use your skewer to mix the aloe vera gel and the rubbing alcohol together. Give it a really good mix then put the lid on and give it a really good shake. Don't use a hand sanitizer if your hands are visibly dirty. Just go to the sink and wash your hands with soap and water. The best way to use hand sanitizer is to squirt a blob on your hand and then rub throughout your hands, making sure that you get between your fingers, around your thumb, on top of your hand, underneath, until your hands are completely dry. Let me know if this has inspired you to make your own hand sanitizer before your next travel. Guys, I've actually kept it pretty basic because I don't mind the smell of alcohol. I actually work in a hospital and we're constantly putting hand sanitizer on before and after we see patients. So I'm just used to that smell. But if you wanted to have a nice smell, then there are some essential oils that you could use. I've got a few more travel essential videos coming up. So if you haven't subscribed, please do and then you'll know when I upload. Alrighty guys, I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.